based on our criteria that we identified in Atlanta, 242 people that went to an average of 24 drop boxes in eight organizations during a two week period. Now we come to the most important question of all. Was the magnitude of vote trafficking in these key swing states enough to tip the balance in the 2020 presidential election? Let's first narrow in on just our 2,000 mules. But now we come to Georgia, 250 mules, averaging 24 drop box visits and five illegal ballots per drop. That's 30,000 illegally trafficked votes far more than the 12,000 vote difference between Trump and Biden. So Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, moves over into the Trump column. 